hello everyone my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel so in this video you guys I am super excited to do this video because number one it was a request you guys I have not been on YouTube long but I have got my first request and I am so excited about it but I have a Facebook friend of mine who is also a YouTube subscriber she told me that she liked my lights she wanted to know what did I use to film with and how was my setup and asked me if I would do a video on it so another reason why I'm excited about it is because I have actually been wanting to do a video like this for the past few months but I was like well I'm gonna hold off on that because I don't think anybody would be interested in it but when she requested that made me so excited because now I get to film this video for you all and not only that her requesting a video lets me know I'm doing something right so thank you very much for your request and this video is specifically for you I'm not gonna talk long we're just gonna go ahead and get started all right, so I will have to switch cameras because I have to, you know, show you all what I'm going to be filming with, but I want to show you my camera as well. So I'm going to switch to this camera right here when I get ready to show you all my setup. I'm going to switch to this camera. This camera right here is the camera that I first started on when I started my YouTube channel. Like I uploaded my first video in February of this year. So this was the camera that I used. And this right here is a Kodak Pix Pro AZ421 Bridge Digital Camera. I got this from Walmart and it was $148. But at that time, my sister had a Walmart disc discount card. So I only paid like $133.20 for it. So this is the camera right here that I got started with. It was this one right here. So this is the camera that I'm going to switch to. I do not have a vlogging camera. Um, vlogging is something that I'm interested in in the future, but for now, I did not invest in one. So I'm just going to use this one right here. So of course, once I switch cameras, then of course the quality of the camera is kind of going to drop just a little bit. Um, but it's still good enough. You'll be able to see it. So this is the one I'm going to switch to. Um, it also has the screen in the back. The only thing about this camera is, is the screen is not touch screen. So you have to use the uh, buttons over here on the side. But this is still a pretty good camera and I, d I do like it. All right, so now I'm going to switch cameras. That way I can show you all what my little setting looks like and what my equipment and stuff that I use. Okay, you guys, so I am back and it is a little bit darker because I did have to turn the lights off because it was too bright um, for the camera. But this is what my little area looks like right here. This is where I sit at to film my videos. And I just got everything right here in the corner of this room. But this is my little setup. And as I told you all when I first started filming in here, this is the spare bedroom, a.k.a. my walk-in cl closet. So that's why the dresser is right there. And then, of course, I have my 51 million clothes, <laughs> my shoes. And then, of course, this is where I have all my products and stuff. So this is where I'm filming at. And y'all, yes, there is things on the wall. My little girl, she likes to color me pictures. So when she does, I hang them on the wall. But anyways, okay, so this chair and this table you guys i got this from i got these from walmart i just purchased this chair like a i think about a couple of months back i purchased this chair this chair was like 25 dollars, i think it was um the table i also got from walmart but i've had that a long um a long time ago and i think i paid about i don't know i think about 10 15 dollars for the table in the end i have this small ring light right here and then I have the large ring light right there. And then I have this soft box light right here. So this smaller ring light, let me get my paper because I have my stuff right here. Let's see, the smaller ring light, I also got this one right here from Walmart. Um, and this one cost me $57.59. And then I got the big ring light. I also got that one from Walmart. And that one cost me $87.95. Uh, and then this right here. Now the this ring light right here I've had 
since I first started filming my videos when I was staying in my apartment. I started with the camera that I'm holding now that I showed you guys. I started with that camera and this ring light. So that's the only two things that I started with. And then this one right here, I brought this one right before I moved out of my apartment and moved back in with my mom. So I've probably had this one for about a month. This right here, I also brought this before I moved out of my apartment. But once I moved back in here, um, because I was filming in the other bedroom, I had this in storage. So I just pulled this out of storage maybe last month. Now this right here is actually a softbox light studio set. So this comes with two softbox lights that sits on the side. So you have this one right here and then you have one that's supposed to sit like on this side and one that's supposed to sit on this side. But because I'm up up against because I'm up against the corner, those two I still have those two in storage. I'm not pulling those out right now until I can actually get me a bigger, you know, get my own place and set those up. But that did come with a set of three, and that one cost me fifty nine ninety nine. And I also got that from Walmart. So the majority of my stuff came from Walmart, you guys. <laughs> And that was because my sister had a discount card. So yes, I was using her Walmart discount. <laughs> now, as far as my camera, this is the camera that I film with. And it is a Canon, let's see. It is a Canon ESO Rebel T7i DSLR camera with a 18 through 55 milliliter I think that's how you say it guys lens <laughs> so this is the camera that I am currently filming on you guys I love 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 this camera now this camera was $700 you all um it did cost $700 but once again I got it from Walmart and I used my sister's discount card so I only paid like $6.80 for it but let me tell you something I did not pay cash that's what my credit card was for so i did put that on my credit card um because i just i was just ready to upgrade to a better camera with better quality and i love the quality on this camera as you see my videos is very clear it's very <clears throat> pretty uh the sound is good so that's why i went on and upgraded i know i haven't been doing youtube long but still i was just when i when i do something I am a perfectionist, so I like to do things as perfectly as I can. So that's why I went on and upgraded that camera right there. Upgraded to that camera right there because I just wanted a better performing camera. Now, I do have this camera hooked up to my TV. So this is my monitor when you guys see me looking off. This is where I'm looking at. I'm looking at my TV because I use this as my monitor. Um, and I have it hooked up to... My TV, my camera, my TV is hooked up with the HDMI cable. Uh, the HDMI cable did not come with my camera. I did have to purchase that separately and I did buy that off Amazon. My tripod that my camera is sitting on, I got that off of Amazon as well. And that tripod cost me about $23 and some change. So... And then uh, the TV stand, the TV and the TV stand I've had for years. I think I've had that stuff since 2015, I think. So the TV and the stand I've had for a long time. But that is what my area looks like, you guys. This is what I see when I am filming. But of course, you all don't see this. But yeah, this is my setup. And I have to say, you guys, I love my little setup. I really, really do. Once I moved over here and I was like, yay, I finally have me a little studio. But I cannot wait until I get my own place again so that I can really set me up a studio. Now, as far as my ceiling lights, you guys, because I do have lights up in the ceiling as well. Um, this ceiling light did have a globe over it, but when I was staying with my mom it fell off and it broke so I don't have a globe over it now but I do have two light bulbs up there I know it's kind of bright kind of hard to see it but I do have two light bulbs up there and they are a hundred watt a piece so I have like 200 watts up in the ceiling right now so with those two lights and plus all my other lights over here you best believe it does get hot in here when I be filming but 
I think that the lights, the bright lights for me, it works. I like my lights bright because with me doing hair tutorials and hair videos, I want you guys to be able to see everything and I just, I want it to be real detailed. So that right there is what I am working with. This is my little studio. This is my little setup. And now I am going to switch back to my other camera. Okay, y'all. So that is what my little area looks like while I am filming. And like I said, I had to turn the lights off because when I tried it with the lights on, the light was, you know, kind of glaring off of the camera and it was going to be hard to see. But I'm going to show you all how dark it is in this room without my three lights on and just have my ceiling lights on. So I'm going to show you all right quick. Okay, so once I turn my lights off, as you can see, the lighting in this room is not very good. Even with the 200 watts that I have up in the ceiling, as you can see, it is still dark. So this is why I have the two ring lights and I also have that overhead softbox light because this is just, it's too dark for me. I just, I can't deal. I do have the window right here, but I don't even open this up when I'm filming videos. I just like to keep this closed and I just like to use my lights. So I'm gonna turn my lights back on. Okay, so you see the difference? <laughs> so this is why I have so many lights. Um, it's just, it's so much better. And ever since I got the overhead light, I think that gives me even more light. Uh, the softbox lights, they do come with this little cover right here. But I don't even use this, you guys. I prefer to keep my cover off of my lights. Maybe once I get all three lights set up, then I'll use the covers. But as of right now, I don't even use this. So I think that is all. I don't want to make this video too long. I hope it was helpful enough for you. Um, if there's something specific you want to see as far as how I do my um, videos or whatever, just let me know and I will do it for you. Um, so I think that's all for this video. I hope I didn't leave anything out. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but it's like you have so much you want to talk about and then you forget once you start filming. But yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Um, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Have your notification um, turned on because I do have another video that she requested, which was how I do my YouTube thumbnails. That is actually going to be my next video following this one. So if you're interested in that, make sure your notifications are turned on so that you can check that video out. So that is all that I have. I'm gonna quit talking now and I will see you all in my next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Once again, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you all in my next upload. Bye.